Welcome to Travel Talk with Lori tonight, and we have a very, very special guest, Miss Therese Hunt from Decadent Delights, but you're wearing another hat tonight with Women's Professional Networking Group. I am. Uh, thank you for having me again. This is my second time co-hosting, and so it's always a always a pleasure. Um, and you can see that we're wearing red, um, and that is for Go Red. Um, the Women's Professional Networking Group is usually uh, in February ramping up and getting together, trying to get our, um, our dinner and silent auction together but of course with COVID we can't quite do that this year so we're doing um, a, dis a different event um, and it's probably gonna end up going throughout throughout the year with small businesses what we're doing is right now we're partnering with Mythic Brewery down at the mills and um, they are they have a particular stout beer that they are going to give us part of the proceeds for the sale um, that's kind of what we're doing we're kind of partnering with businesses throughout the year and this stout beer when you go down there you can get it in a can you can get it at their tasting room and they'll take some of the proceeds from the, that sale and give it to us for our go red uh, fundraising event that's going to continue on throughout this year with small businesses and that money gets um, we keep some of it here in the community it goes to the UNC Heart Center and then also to the American Heart Association so we're excited so if you get down to the mills go see Mythic Brewing get yourself a stout a can a stout um, it's a particular stout that they have down there and uh, some of those proceeds of those sales will go to our fundraising event. So we're excited. And hopefully one month we'll do coffee at a coffee That's house. That's correct. And I'll definitely, definitely be there to protect Absolutely. To, to buy the coffee. But that would be great. A coffee. Yeah. So, coffee stay, so stay tuned. Uh, Lori is part of the women's group, so she'll have all the inside scoop on yes. where we're going to be and what yes. we're going to be doing. And we'll have to have you back again for an update. Yes, absolutely. Love to. Yep. Tonight we are talking about river cruising, and me and Therese are so excited because we are on the Chamber River Cruise yeah. to go to, to Holland to see the tulips next March, next March. the end of March, 1st of April. Mm -hmm. So we're all excited about then boarding that ship. Next year. Because next year we are going to board the ship, okay? <laughs> yes. yeah, we, we are. So we're going to see a couple of videos because tonight we're talking river cruising. So we're going to see a couple of videos, one from Avalon, one from Alma Waterways, and then we're going to be back to talk about them. Good. Why do we travel? Is it to see new things? Or to try new things? Is it to go back centuries? Or to be in the moment? Is it to take pictures? Or to take action? We travel to see the works of sculptors and painters and to imitate their techniques. We travel to meet bakers and chefs and to saute in their kitchens. We travel to meet farmers, vintners, and brewers and to taste their divine secrets. We go out into the world to forge new paths and to discover old ones. We follow sweet aromas, alluring fragrances, and complex bouquets. We pedal and paddle, jog and climb, dabble and dance, and even march to the beat of our own drum. We journey to examine and explore, to listen and learn, and to engage and enjoy, with hands on and hands off. We travel to walk in the footsteps of all who have come before us, warriors and soldiers, emperors and kings, sailors and sirens, architects and builders, none of whom, by the way, were ever bystanders. So when we travel, why should we be? Engage, interact, indulge, only on active discovery cruises, exclusively from Avalon Waterways. Step aboard a world of exceptional experiences, where your journey is our passion. Allow us to share villages that time forgot. Walk along cobblestone streets filled with the lights. Paddle through historic town squares and revel in moments that last a lifetime. 
When you step aboard Ama Waterways, each day brings a genuine smile that warms the heart. Every river a new culture that inspires. And each course a moment to savor and share. Experience these wonders and delights with Ama Waterways. The heart of the river. So me and Teresa here, we were picking out our cabins and what we were going to eat from what we were seeing. <laughs> yes. We also were talking about how we don't think we'll be jogging or bike riding on this first <laughs> river cruise. Yeah. Of course, you never know. Yeah. You never know. We may get ventures <laughs> and we may do it. I think the the most my favorite part is going to be seeing all the history yeah seeing the windmills seeing the tulips yeah. seeing all the places the that you know architecture mm -hmm. i think that's going to be the best for me on any of the river cruises that would be it. Uh -huh. and i have a hard time picking i have about 12 picked out <laughs> because i have a hard time picking because like i want to do them all i want to go to switzerland i want to do the one in france i want to do them all so like i've got like 15 <laughs> 15 picked out so oh. Yep. Oh, awesome. So we are going to look at river cruising down the Danube with Avalon. That's another river I'd love to do the whole thing, which would be 21 days to the whole river. But doing parts of it's normally what they do, but at Christmas time oh, to be on the Danube at the Christmas market cruises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we missed that one the end of last year when we couldn't go to Europe and do the river cruise for our 15th anniversary that's okay it will wait and the 20th year is coming and we it's, shall go back it'll still be there yeah. hopefully so we're going to watch uh, a video about the danube river cruising and get some ideas of ports of call we can see along the river on the danube in europe if you're fascinated by new cultures and experiences then an Avalon cruise along the Danube will keep you enthralled. This is Europe's grand voyage and the world's most international river. Spanning across all of Central and Eastern Europe, the Danube passes through 10 countries and four capital cities. Just imagine the unique experience of sampling the wonderful diversity of food, architecture, history, and traditions that you'll discover along the way. Depending on which of our Danube cruises you choose, your discovery could include beautiful Regensburg, Germany. Imagine being surrounded by the Germany of 100 years ago as you gaze upon the amazing cathedral here. Or picture yourself sipping a world-famous German beer and enjoying authentic German cuisine in a beer garden. Downstream, you'll come upon the peninsula of Passau, where the confluence of three rivers gives this city a truly unique setting that's as picturesque as any you'll encounter in Europe. The lush, rolling green hills along the Danube let you know you're now in the famed Wachau region, where wine connoisseurs will delight in sampling some of Austria's most prized wines. Imagine sipping a refreshing Gruner Wettliner on the steep, stony slopes overlooking the Danube. You might take in milk and the Baroque splendor of its Benedictine Abbey, just one of the many monasteries you can visit. Its renowned library lets you step back in time as you gaze upon an amazing collection of books and manuscripts from as far back as 1500 AD. In the picturesque town of Dernstein, you can hike up to the ruins of the medieval castle where Richard the Lionheart was held captive. Next, you could find yourself exploring the streets of Vienna, the city of music. Walk in the footsteps of composers like Mozart and Strauss. Have your piece of Zacha Torta and visit a cafe in the former capital of the Habsburg Empire. Then enjoy Bratislava, the little cousin of Vienna and the capital and cultural center of Slovakia. The town has blossomed since the fall of the Iron Curtain with its museums, outdoor cafes, and lush green parks. Next up, you'll sail into Budapest and admire the mighty Hungarian parliament from your ship as you enter the city. Another captivating stop is beautiful and diverse Croatia. With its rich history, delicious cuisine, fine wines, and friendly people. Further south into revitalized Eastern Europe, the Danube winds into Serbia, 
allowing you to explore the historic town of Novi Sad, as well as the capital city of Belgrade, full of lively pedestrian areas and mighty fortresses. Sailing on, you'll be amazed by the dramatic narrow gorges of the famed Iron Gates, lined with ancient Roman ruins, separating Romania to your north and Serbia to your south. Your Danube journey could end with a grand finale at Bulgaria and Romania, shining examples of true Eastern Europe. Highlights include the ancient hilled capital of Veliko Tarnovo and its beautiful artwork. The fascinating city of Constanta and its impressive archaeological museum, or the bustling metropolis of Bucharest. Many itineraries even include a stay in Prague, the city of 100 spires, featuring fairy tale views of its 1,000 year old history. A Danube cruise brings you an East meets West experience unlike any other river can. And see, I would like to go to all those places and, and have time to spend. We were going to Prague before the Christmas River Cruise because when I booked it, the lady said, oh, you want to go to Prague and you'll be right there at it. So I thought, okay, she said, Prague is gorgeous any time of the year, but at Christmas, it's just un unbelievably beautiful. Yeah. So we were going, of course, we didn't get to go. So every time I see Prague, I think I could have been there. <laughs> I could have been there except for coronavirus, so I could have been there. So. You'll get there. I will. <laughs> we'll be, I, I will get there. Will. Eventually, eventually we'll, that's right. We're all gonna we're all gonna become avid river cruisers, and that's what we're gonna do. Me and David from the chamber were talking the other day about how this may become an annual event. I think it should. <laughs> yeah, it should it enjoy should. it, have it every year, every year. Absolutely. But when you think about everything that's included, your meals, all your food your basic shore excursions mm -hmm. so you're going in and seeing all this history and it's included with your ticket for the boat mm -hmm. or the ship river cruise ship mm -hmm. and you're getting coffee tea water soft drinks are included mm -hmm. soft drinks are included at lunch and of course they provide beer and wine at lunch and dinner if, if that's what you would like to have the only thing there's an additional charge for is mixed drinks mm -hmm. Mixed drinks is, is something that they, they do charge for, but everything else is included. I mean, for me, a glass of wine, I'm good. Okay, I'm good with a glass of wine. Okay. Yep. Especially when I'm on the river or, or a cruise ship. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good with that. So. But, it, but it's a fun experience being on a cruise ship. It's going to be exciting to be able to be there and show all of us having fun and bringing all our, our listeners and watchers from WHIG with us because I'm going to do a lot of live stuff while we're there to try to bring back. And now that I have two that month, I plan to to do <laughs> live from both. Just yes. Keep yes. your bags packed. Don't Just keep my bags yeah. packed. Don't and be ready unpack. To go. Yeah. Don't two unpack. Two flights to Europe. It was like, maybe we could just stay in Europe between <laughs> the first one and the second. I'm like, I don't mm. think so, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That would be great. Spend the whole month of March Ooh, in Europe. That would be nice. That would be interesting. <laughs> yes, it would be. It definitely would. So we're going to break for some commercials. We're going to talk about Disney and SeaWorld, another two of my favorite places mm -hmm. to visit. And then we're going to go further south and look at resorts in Riviera Maya. Oh, nice. So everybody stay tuned and let's look at these um, commercials coming up. Life gets a lot more magical when you dream. And for decades, Disney Cruise Line has given families dreams to wake up excited about. Dreams with beloved stories, a private island paradise, and knowing your family will be cared for the moment you step aboard. Because here, dreams really do come true.
Buying a Toyota should be as fun as driving one. This is Trey Turner from Rocky Mountain Toyota, where we've made the car buying process simple. Get straightforward pricing on all your favorite Toyota models, so you can skip the hassle and the haggle and get back on the road in no time at all. Plus, enjoy the peace of mind that comes with our complimentary lifetime warranty, unlimited time, unlimited miles. Come see me today at Rocky Mountain Toyota or shop online at RockyMountToyota.com. So I'm still I'm still hung up on the um, the resorts in Riviera Maya, the Valentin, and then the Grand Fiesta in Los Cabos, because I would love to go to Los Cabos. Uh -huh. Okay, they say there's not much area there you can actually swim in the water, but just to be able to walk on the beach there, that would be my thing. Okay, <laughs> just to be there in Los Cabos and say I'm here, I'm here, you know, I'm here. Of course, there are all kinds of new safety requirements when you come back. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in the next couple of months we're going to get this lifted. For right now we are having the coronavirus test to come back and you have to have a negative. The really good thing is is that these resorts have stepped up. So if you test positive, they have they have areas to quarantine you and they're going to bring you room service. And so, you know, and no additional cost to, to the guests. Oh, how nice. Which I think is really good that is because, nice. you know, mm -hmm. to think that you might have to be there two extra weeks. Of course, then you get to thinking about it. Two extra weeks hmm. in Riviera <laughs> Mile, or you know, that's yeah. might not be bad. Okay, no, so yeah, that's what I was think, thinking. You get to thinking about that and think, hey, you know. <laughs> then we were talking about SeaWorld having the um food. this this Seven Seas Food Feast from now until May the 9th. and that sounds like a great adventure. It does. <laughs> of course, take it from somebody that went to SeaWorld right right after Christmas. It was just a fantastic experience with our granddaughter and our son Aww. from Florida. It was an awesome experience. I haven't been to SeaWorld in a long time. I, re I really enjoyed the dolphins and the ice show when they mm -hmm. skated. It was just a wonderful time, and it was, with the limited capacity, it was like a whole different world being in a theme park. Having it all to yourself almost. I mean, oh, yeah, really. I mean, it was, it was good. It, it was a nice experience. Great. Of course, Disney is another great option. And Disney's also having to do limited capacity, and I hear you can ride whatever your favorite ride is back to back sometimes, right back to back, and not have to worry. Because so, do you have to make an appointment to go into the no, into they don't, Disney? You have to do a resort you have to reservation to go into yeah. the park. You do, gotcha. just like you do at SeaWorld or Universal. Oh. The good thing with SeaWorld and Universal is if you are at one of their resorts, they guarantee you entrance gotcha. into the park. That's nice. Disney is so popular with Floridians, you have to have that park reservation to get in. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, it's it's a it's a different world. But people are still going. People are enjoying it. People are having fun. I've had clients that go and say it's just fantastic because capacity is limited. You get that restaurant you want to eat in. You get that ride you might not have got to ride when the when <laughs> fast passes and the crowds are there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so in that respect, it almost makes you you know. The limited capacity is a good thing, I think, but, I mean, it, it is all coming back. Come to 2022, we're bouncing back. So if you want to go to SeaWorld or 
Disney, Disney. now may be the time to cut if you don't live in a capacity. <laughs> this is my you time to go. You, if you don't like crowds. <laughs> if you don't like crowds, and my husband does not. So, I don't know how many times we've had to leave Magic Kingdom because the crowds were so bad. You know, go in on Christmas Day or Christmas morning oh, and yeah. leave just as the crowds are coming in. Uh-huh. Because I always did early breakfast, so we go in, we eat, we get in the park, and then you're coming out just as just they're about. shutting down for limited areas. Oh, yes, plenty of that. So, we're talking river cruising, which I know is going to be one of my favorite ways to travel because I love ocean cruising. And I have missed being able to step out on my balcony. And look at the water. And look at the water with coffee or middle of the day or even at night. You know, people think I'm crazy because I step out at night. That's oh, the last that. thing I do before I go to bed. I want to see. I don't care if I can only see the water and it looks dark. Yes. I am getting that sight before I go to bed. I am stepping out on that balcony to do that. I just like hearing the waves, just the water crashing up against the I just, it, oh, I love that. To me, it's the most peaceful <laughs> feeling to me. Mm-hmm. And, it, and to me, it makes me feel closer to, to God mm-hmm. because you're there and it's like it you is. can see. And it's like nothing else matters. That's the right. busyness of our world is just all gone. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think we can, We definitely get in tune more when Absolutely. there's nothing. No distractions. <laughs> no distractions, but the waves crashing. Huh. So we've been talking a little bit about river cruising at Christmas. Mm-hmm. I think they are fantastic options. You get to do those Christmas markets in Europe. And you always see the gingerbread cookies and all the handmade ornaments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which oh, I could probably not have enough money to spend to bring back <laughs> everything I wanted to bring back. <laughs> You know, everything. I can see me now, like, <laughs> let's just take half a suitcase full of everything and nothing else because we're going to have to have it to bring stuff back. <laughs> so let's take a look at, at the holidays on a Christmas Christmas market cruise with Avalon and with Alma Waterways. If you think Europe is breathtaking now, you should see how utterly enchanting it becomes during the festive season as the cities light up with sparkling celebrations. On board an Avalon Christmas cruise, you can enjoy this magical time of year, all from the cozy warmth of your luxury ship. With Avalon, you can cruise the mine and stop at some of the oldest and largest Christmas markets in Europe, even enjoying a traditional baking demonstration. Sail the Danube and enjoy the music of the bustling cities and the festive charm of the quaint villages. Or travel the Rhine and delight in views of the black forest frosted with snow. From elaborate celebrations to traditional decorations, the wonder of Christmas in Europe is yours with the variety of holiday cruises from Avalon. They're the perfect opportunity to enjoy an extra special and hassle-free reunion with extended family or friends. My name is Uwe and I'm a cruise manager for Armour Waterways. And often I'm asked, what is your favorite type of cruise and what's the favorite time to cruise for you? This is a very difficult question, as you can guess. But to me personally, having grown up in a very traditional area in Germany and living in Austria, is the Christmas markets. The Christmas market time is special because of the atmosphere it creates with the beautiful decorations, not only on the market and in the, all these cities and towns, the little places we're going to, but also our ships are beautifully decorated. And it's the sounds and the smells and the tastes of the Christmas specialties and the Christmas items. And one thing you will definitely love and indulge in is the lovely glue wine. The mild wine, it's a spiced wine that you will enjoy and there's no way around it. Cheers and see you on a Christmas time cruise. Hi everyone, my name is Pete and I'm lucky enough to be one of the cruise managers at Armour Waterways and people often ask the cruise manager, when's the best time to do a river cruise? This ladies and gentlemen is a very difficult question. It could be a reunion you're coming to, a birthday you're celebrating, renewing your vows, squeezing in a gap between work, it's just the summer holidays. But something else to think about is when Mother Nature turns on the colours. So for instance in June, on the Rhone River in the south of France, when the lavender comes into bloom, it's like velvet corduroy as far as the eye could see. 
You could come along the Rhine River in September, October, as the vines change colour, reds and yellows and coppers and gold. My personal favourite is the Wachau Valley, the Danube River in Austria. And in April time, it's when the apricot trees blossom into a rosy white field of colour. And bear in mind, there's a hundred thousand of those apricot trees. Now that's food for thought. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Well, Therese, well, Therese. I'm, I'm still, I mean, I'm there, and every place he mentioned, I would oh. like to be, oh. I could be there, Just okay? Put us there. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, you're like, hey, I mean, you know, I, I definitely have got a huge, huge bucket list. Mm. Not to mention other things that are on my list, too. <laughs> I mean, a few weeks ago, we had Eric Kelly on the phone, and we were talking about Wyoming. They do a Wyoming one in the wintertime. Oh, and you get to do like a sleigh ride, and I'm thinking that would be perfect for Valentine's. And they do it during Valentine's. I already checked oh, for next nice. year. And he said, we, well, me and, me and my wife will go with you and Bill. And I'm thinking, hey, we could do it next year. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I'm up for travel anytime. Mm -hmm. Anybody knows I'm a travel girl, I'm ready to go. I tell people I think I can pack in like half a day. <laughs> Normally where it takes me about three weeks, I think I could pack and I met up matter of hours. Yeah, I was going to say in a couple of hours. So <laughs> I am ready to go. So this has been fun tonight, Teresa. Yes. We're going to have to have you back on again. Thank you. Thank you. And um, to hear about all your endeavors, because she also does chocolate. <laughs> yeah, she does Valentine's. Decadent, <laughs> she does Decadent Delight. Just got done with that. She <laughs> does all kinds of gift giving. So we're going to have to definitely have her back and talk about that some Great. other time. Thank you. Don't forget about the Women's Professional Network and out at yes. uh, uh, Mythic Brewing down at the Mills. Go get your can of stout or tasting room and part of those sale proceeds will go towards our fundraising event for Go Red. So. All right, well, we're going to leave you tonight looking at another Avalon More in View, More to Do video, and we'll see you next week on Travel Talk with Lori. Everyone have a good evening. The same company that reinvented river cruise ships with spacious rooms, huge windows, one-of-a-kind open-air balconies, and beds that face the ever-changing views outside, just reinvented the river cruise experience. Now you can choose three different ways to enjoy each destination, all as included excursions. You can choose to tour the classic sites and take in the stories. Or you can immerse yourself a bit deeper into local culture with an off-the-beaten-path discovery, a wine or beer tasting, or hear stories of local legend and lore. For the more adventurous souls, you can jump on a bike, paddle a canoe, or take a hike. Avalon has made it possible for you to cruise your way. We've also opened up a world of possibilities when it comes to dining, allowing you to choose where you'd like to dine, from an alfresco lunch in our open-air sky grill, to a more elegant dinner in our glass-walled dining room, or a petite plate in our panorama bistro. You can also choose when you'd like to dine. Our travel choices allow you to custom design your cruise, so you're always doing exactly what you want to be doing. Let us introduce you to the magic of the world. And you can experience it any way you'd like. With all the possibilities aboard Avalon Waterways. <laughs>